I think there is some truth that in order to succeed in modern work life, it certainly helps to have a, a work husband or a work wife. I think having a confidant, a source of support, just somebody that one can go to to bounce ideas off of, or just to, just to lighten up some of the heavier moments definitely has a, has a tremendous amount of value. I've been here for nine years. I think eight of the nine aunt has been my office spouse. So you weren't happy for a whole year? Before I meet you, yeah. Yeah, yeah before me. I think, I mean, the real truth is that I was terrified of Karen for the first year and now I'm just mostly terrified of Karen for the next eight years. So it, it is a bit like a marriage. 13 Thir years. Thir 13 years. Yeah. It's been a long relationship in the making. She knows exactly when, when I need some time out, so she'll always like, tell me, like, go take, go take a, an afternoon, go, go do something fun. He knows if my child slept well at night. He knows everything <laughs> about me. She knows um, if I went to gym or if I didn't go to gym. And just make sure that each other's okay, ne? Hey? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was actually my first day that I joined Ogilvy. The place that I was sitting at, Claire was also sitting there. She just walked into the <laughs> office and looked like she had no friends yet. <laughs> you wanted it to start off as yeah, boyfriend and girlfriend? It was me, it was all me. <laughs> <laughs> but it didn't really work out that way. No, no. I think we were destined for Greater things. Greater things, work, husband and wife. So we worked together for three years, five years ago. So we've worked out three and a half years in total with a five year trial separation in between. Yeah. And obviously we're back together, so the trial separation wasn't so trial. Okay, so my real husband also works at Ogilvy. And I think we're very respectful. He's got a work wife, Sarah, who's off on maternity leave. She's amazing. And I fully respect their relationship. They've also worked together for 10 years. I think they're mostly pros, unless the work husband or work wife become a little too serious in terms of their, their, their downtime. Being able to just pick up the phone and phone someone and be like, I need tickets to Kanye or whatever it is that Karen can get you. And, and, and the way Karen works, she gets lots of kickback, so it's very advantageous. If someone's having a bad day or someone's having a down day, the other one kind of jumps in. Uh, jumps in when appropriate. She's just a lot more organised than I am, so she actually ends up organising my entire social life <laughs> and not just my work life. There's an actual social calendar and everything. <laughs> it's a nice sounding board bouncing things off each other, so if we've both got issues, we kind of can... Well, he makes me laugh a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and that's good. And Michelle introduced me to Mocha Coffee, so... Oh yes, yeah, that's right. True story. Always being able to talk about the stuff that we're inter interested in. Pop culture. Pop culture. Kim Kardashian. Beyonce, Beyonce news. The role. The Eish. role in the relationship. I think I am the dominant one in our relationship. Karen uh, not only wears the pants, I don't know where the pants are. Um, <laughs> I've never seen the pants. I saw a picture of the pants once. My general well-being is completely in her hands. Absolutely not true. My well-being is completely in his hands. We balance um, each other really nicely. I think I'm the more organized side of the relationship, whereas Claire is probably the more friendlier side of the relationship. She has way more friends than I do. If we had to have like a wife and a husband, she would be the wife, I would be the husband, I think. Really? Can you stop paying for more, please? <laughs> I tend to be the feeder. Thank her. I remember organising him a sandwich once when he had to work late. Yeah, so Alison basically looks after me. Alison's fantastic with words. I tell him uh, when he's not wearing pants and all yeah, of that stuff. It's yeah. all good. Yeah. Whenever there's potatoes in the buzz, I always yeah, let Ricky know please. because that's her like favourite thing. I remind Nash or I tell Nash when there are brownies, chocolate brownies <laughs> at the front. That's his favourite thing. It's basically mostly food related. <laughs>